What's the point? The point is that code is not language. I feel like this video is going to have quite a few mixed reactions. Likely, I have a variety of groups that I'm speaking to. The first group doesn't really know anything about computers and doesn't know what I'm talking about. Come to think about it though, would that group even be watching this video? A second group would be one that's passionate about the future of coding and technology and the desperate integration of its knowledge into society's norms. A third group that are language nerds and who I probably would have had the support of regardless of my opinions. And a fourth group that, well, is the majority and doesn't necessarily care. The reason I'm bringing this up is because of some recent discussions and steps by our education leaders to allow students to learn coding in the place of foreign language. Just by a single Google search, I can come up with evidence of it happening in Florida, Michigan, and Texas. I'll leave some links below in the description. In order to start this explanation, I'm going to reference a definition of language that I used in a previous video. Language is the compilation of sounds, or building blocks such as in sign language, into meaningful chunks that are systematically recognized and used in order to communicate everything from specific concepts to grand ideas and dreams. First, I would like to note that there are quite a few things that this definition does not necessarily talk about. It does not limit a language to be something that is only spoken, or only written, or only signed. It allows for the use of a soul or multiple medium. It is also not limiting in how language might be constructed. In a way, code might seem to be very much within this definition. There is a strong problem, however, that comes up when we think about the applications of language and the applications of coding. The application of language is one that arises between two or more individuals as they are talking and communicating. It is pervasive to all subject matter, and it is meant to relay abstract thought and practical understanding. It is not limited to, but is generally used to communicate information to someone else in a matter of seconds, if that. The application of coding is much smaller, in a sense. If I haven't already offended group 2, that certainly did it. The reason I say this, though, is because coding isn't meant to accomplish everything mentioned above. Coding is meant to stand in for language as an intermediary between cognizant individuals such as humans and binary processing computer chips that need to produce consumable media. It is meant more to convey function rather than meaning between individuals. It is limited, too, between what is meant to stand in for in software and does not replace conversation or knowledge in a daily sense. Processing code for an experienced user might take a short amount of time, and for a non-experienced user, it will certainly take longer, but it's just not meant to quickly disseminate information to other people. The Spanish program at the Florida State University incorporates this into an explanation about why students are required to take a foreign language class as part of the College of Arts and Sciences requirements. Part of the purpose of a general education requirement in the College of Arts and Sciences is for students to challenge their own preconceived personal and cultural frameworks, as well as to further their intellectual development and personal growth. To this end, the study of language beyond one's native tongue pushes students to communicate through different sounds, words, and structures, and it provides an opportunity to gain deeper insight into the practices of one's own and other cultures. In other words, beyond just trying to equip students with a level of language acquisition for whatever purposes the students might have, it is also meant to simply broaden individuals' minds and change the way that they think for the betterment of a more diverse world and society. I want to argue that code education cannot achieve the same goals listed here. Not only does the application of a coding language look much different than that of a normal language, it simply doesn't compare to the intrinsic benefits of language education. The point here is that coding, aka Java, C Sharp, HTML, etc., are all not languages. Our educators and policymakers cannot willingly substitute an orange for an apple and justify that we get apple credits for eating an orange. Hopefully this resonates with you. If you like what you heard here, make sure to hit subscribe and like this video. If you otherwise want to see what I'm doing about my attitudes towards language, 
go over to Facebook and Twitter to hit like and follow Glottiverse.